Hello and welcome to part 4 for our CMD course for new IT professionals. This is a learning tip before our instructors start this lecture. Now in the command line for new IT professionals, when instructor teach about something specific in the command line, now they will be teaching you something basic and with one practical example or two practical examples. But it's your responsibility to research more on that specific feature. For example, in this video, an instructor will teach about WMIC, Windows Management Instrumentation. Now, the main reason I'm sharing this tip is that you have to go into the Microsoft documentation to really learn this in more advanced and more details. The perfect way for you to learn skills in when you go over this and now you know where the documentation is and you have seen an example, you should come over here and make your own examples. For example, if an instructor is showing you how to how to find a product specific versions or things like that, then you should be thinking, okay, what else can I find from WMIC? So let me look around and then what kind of information does it give you? So because these are extremely large features, you can do a lot of things with these things. We cannot cover every single thing in the command line. This tip will apply for all future videos. You should watch instructor get the example, practice that example, and then go to the documentation and then create your own examples. Hello viewers, getting system and programs information using CMD, full details CMD course video four. So before starting the video, don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe our channel, jobskillshare.org. And in this video, we're going to discuss and I'm going to show you the basic commands to get system details and program information. And definitely those commands are really going to help you to getting the details of the system. And also, these commands are really helpful when it comes for the hacking. Let's say if you hack any system, any machine, and you want to see the details, so where you don't get this GUI method, this desktop screen, where these commands are really going to help you. And moreover, these commands are also helpful to do things in a quick and a fast way. So let's go back to the desktop screen. And here, let's first launch the CMD from here. So what I'm tapping CMD, then right click to run as the administrator. And here, just click yes to the UX user account access control user access control so here in the command prompt we're going to start the command with the command that gonna tell you it will create a notepad file for you and it will analyze and detect all the softwares or the products that are installed on your machine and after execution of this command you will see all such details in a separate notepad file so let's start with the command first we're going to type wmic and it's going to start another menu another series and here we're going to type forward slash output then we're going to add colon c c would be the directory you can change this directory as per your need then put column C column backslash and then you have to type the file name so I'm typing JSS then add dot text because in the command prompt you can only export the text file the notepad file so you definitely have to put this extension just right after the file name and then after typing this detail you add you need to add something more with the in the end of the command because we need to know the products and the software so we're going to type product get name comma version right so when you press enter it's going to collect all the products name and the details of the software and then create a text file and it will go to that location which you provided here so let's press enter to execute and once you see the next prompt then just go to that directory and check the file because if you go before 
Returning back to the prompt, you won't find anything because you will find the text file but it didn't contain any content. So just wait for the next prompt and then go to, go to that directory and check this text file. So there you can see because this is the practice labs machine that's why it contain little programs some few products like office 16 update assistant and the windows 10 update so this command is really helpful when when you need to collect product details and you want to collect some software details within your machine now within the same command if you want to know your cpu details let's say you want to know the core the family of the processor and each and everything so you could type cpu but when when you type wmic command then it will take you to this prompt and then you can type cpu to collect the cpu details what about your processor and how many cores and clock rate and each and everything inside out you can easily find after typing the cpu command now then we need to exit from this prompt so we're going to type exit enter and we are written back to the normal command prompt and here we're going to type this part and this command also change the prompt and here you can work out on your disk you can find out the details of your disk and this this part section will dedicate it to know the details about your disk to get the information about the disk the, the number of disk that is currently installed in your machine all you can gather and know from this disk part section so the first command we're going to type is list disk so list list disk list disk so first once you type this list disk command you know this command will inform you and it will provide the output about the number of disks that are currently installed so you know here you can see that you have this zero and status online so you have only one disk you see that is attached to your machine right now so this is actually telling you that the physical disk in your machine is one only one physical disk is attached now if you want to further go to this disk menu you would type select disk and the number zero and there you go you have a message that zero is now selected and from here you can go further forward to get the details like because we want to know the details of the disk so the command is simple detail disk press enter so here you have these information these details that tells that your single disk have three volume first is for the recovery second third is the recovery first is the basic normal volume second is the 79 gigs it's your c and you're also getting the label the file system the type it is mentioned that partition and the info tells once is the boot and another is the system so this command is really helping you to know about the disk because when you do these things with the graphical user interface you need to go on the computer management and that's then you select the disk management console to collect and gather these details but here with typing few keys with pressing few keys with typing few letters you're getting these details without even moving your mouse and your cursor so that's the benefit of the command line the CMD now to exit from the disk pod you're gonna type exit and it will take back you on the system 32 on the basic normal command prompt now then there is another command related to the disk is a chk dsk the check disk and as the name suggests this command helps you to check the errors and the issues happening within your system and once you execute this command it will automatically start to scan errors and the bad sectors within your disk because you know when you install and delete programs from your hard drive you see there are some spaces got 
corrupted because what happens when you download or install any file in your C drive and then you start to delete that area that is reserved for that particular application that's written back to the free space when you're deleting that stuff but what happens when you delete that stuff and it doesn't get done correctly by means that it doesn't delete perfectly in a correct way so this area become bad sector because this area enable to change with the free space that's why these bad sectors when become in numbers it will impact your disk it will start making issues with your disk speed and other sort of things and you will see and you will find out that your disk is full without any data so at that moment if you use this chk dsk command so it will provide you all the details and then you could easily repair your disk by adding some arguments against the command like chk dsk c column and then you could put any of the argument like r so it will start recovering your disk but right now we don't want to recover our disk so you can use this argument then if you want to know the mac address of your machine so we have a simple command get mac and if you type so you will get the physical address of your machine let's say there is a network environment and you're working or you have a home router and you want to make some restriction to your machine that this router will connect to that machine right so you see in that situation you must know your physical address and if you want to know the physical address in a glance in an instant so just go to the cmd and type get mac because when you want to check this mac address through the gui method you need to open different sort of dialog boxes and you need to go on different windows and there it requires a lot of clicks but here it requires only your pressing of the keys and you will get your details then after that if you want to know the whole system details like what drivers are working what is a network situation what is your IP what 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 about your network card your RAM your other sort of stuff related to your system so the command you're going to use is the system info and here you can see the output is there the network card number are two two cards are attached at the moment one is a Hyper-V network second one is a Hyper-V network both are the Hyper-V and there is a availability of hypervisor also you're getting some other details like where's your system which is your windows drive right and then what is your ram and how much ram is being used and the machine name and the workstation and the windows version the os details so you're getting plenty of the details that you need to know in fixing things and in dealing with the system issues so you can easily get those details by typing this system info command then in the last just similar to this command but this command is used to know about the driver details so if you want to know how many drivers you have and which driver you need to add because there are certain features and certain programs and mostly with the games some games require some high updated drivers and you want to know that which driver you need to install and add in your machine so you could type this driver query so it can tell you and it will provide you the output with all the details of the driver that are currently working and installed in your machine and this is too much details to verify and troubleshoot your driver related issue and if you are not getting that driver installed so definitely before fixing other issues you must install the driver and 50 and 60 percent chance that your issue would be resolved so you need to know these command and most important thing that I want to add here that if you are familiar and perfect and good at command line so you could easily work on the PowerShell also you could easily work on the server core product and also if you have any interest in hacking and if you know about the ethical hacking and you know how to get the remote session of any machine by doing some hacks 
so the command line skill really gonna help you because there you only find the command line the black screen with the white text so it will definitely helpful for you to go in that machine and check the details and transfer file from here to there so this command line skills really help you to easily work on any remote machine so that's it for this video and hope you like that video and the commands we are providing you you're practicing and must practice those commands so after a few practices you will easily remember those commands and in the last of the video don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe our channel and stay tuned with the codes because we have plenty more commands to share with you thanks for watching